Oh, interesting. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, everyone. Dandavad Pranams. All glories to Srila Gurudev and Srila Prabhupada. Um, I, I guess I'm supposed to speak a few words before I introduce everyone and they get their moment with Srila Gurudev. But uh, basically, this has been the best year we've ever had by the mercy of Srila Gurudev. Last year, if any of you were here, they probably saw um, some semblance of a, of a human being in front of you. But this year, things have improved so much. And I spoke to Gurudev last year in his room. I came in shaking, and Frankie Shur brought me in, and I said, Gurudev, you know, this and that. And he said, the problem is, you are thinking you are the doer. He said, actually, it is all going on by my Shakti, and just become my statue. So if anything has happened this year, and anything that will happen in the future, that's good. How many boys and children? We have about 21 children now. Huh? 21 children. And we have five teachers and some assistant teachers. Some of the children who graduated from the school, they come back and they help in the school so much. Government approved? Government approved. We have a connection with the state of California. If anyone wants to go to college, they have the credentials to go on. Good <laughs> aside from thanking you for everything, I would like to introduce all the teachers and students to you, if I may. And also, uh, Vishnu Priya Didi, Vish little Vishnu Priya, I mean, has uh, something to give you, Guru. Where's Vishnu Priya? Gurudev, please always pour on our heartstrings. Oh. So many hearts. <laughs> they go in your pocket, Gurudev. In your pocket, please, Gurudev. Okay. First, uh, announcing all the teachers. Uh, I first want to acknowledge uh, Rasik Mohan Prabhu. He's a graduate of our school, but this year he came back after staying with Premanand Prabhu in India, and he put together almost single-handedly this beautiful newsletter that we all have. So no one should doubt that kids come out of this school without qualification because he's really probably one of the best writers on the planet. Uh, and he's also a very qualified devotee in so many ways. So Rasik Mohan for the week. Son of Nanda Gopal and Manju Vasani. He's graduated. If I get any he's and she's mixed up this year, please forgive me. But. Okay, the next person I want to acknowledge are um, Keshavakanta and Kishori Dasi. Keshavakanta is the daughter of Manju Vasani and Nanda Gopal. Please stand up. And Kishori is the daughter of Frank Kishore and Chama Lanka. They're both graduates from our school, but they're both so qualified and so helpful in working with the children, giving them love and affection, and coming in and doing whatever is needed. So we're very indebted to you both. Keisha Bakanta and Kishori Ki. Um, next one is Jai Shri. Jai Shri. About to be Mrs. Kishore. Uh, stand up, Jai Jai Shri is also... She was one of the first students we ever taught in Govanandini and I in our teaching. And she's now become a, such a qualified teacher. She's teaching the young children and she does it with so much care and attention and love and affection, preparing for her own children. <laughs> Not... Okay. Kishore uh, Jai Shri Ki Jai. And then there's our wonderful Kishore, Nanda Kishore. Kishore. They're married tomorrow. And he is training all our young boys in shlokas, in uh, Hindi, and, and just Madanga, 
And he's just doing such a wonderful job of training these young boys, working so hard with all his heart and soul to please his Gurudev. And he's really, really wonderful asset to our school. Kishore Prabhu. Then there's uh, Radhika. Where's Radhika? Stand up, Radhika. Radhika has, is. Uh, not only is she a sweet devotee, but she's given her heart and soul to transforming her whole high school program and giving our children one thing that we were lacking was the ability to teach our high school kids because we were so overextended. So she's transformed the whole academic program, giving them wonderful academic education and putting so much heart and love into the children that they all love her so much. Uh, Radhika Devi Dasi Ki. Nichimanjari! <laughs> Nichimanjari is like the rock of the school. She's the best nuts and bolts teacher on the planet in that she can teach kids who don't want to learn the basics in their education. And she sticks it out with such determination and finally they just surrender to her. <laughs> She's also the best baker that, uh, in the school. The kids are... Then there's, uh, I, I, oh, I had it in the reverse order because Nitch is senior, but I, I, my papers, please forgive me. Chantaklata Devi Dasi. <laughs> Just being around Chantaklata, everybody remembers Gurudev. <laughs> and she's brought in such a nice, sweet mood that contributes to the family mood we've developed in our school. And she's actually a really good teacher. <laughs> really good teacher. <laughs> Chapaglata Devi Dasi And of course, there's the person who's always in the background, uh, not seeking any attention, but Govanandini. Roma. One of her main contributions is to keep my Purusha Bhav in check. But sit stand up, Gopal. But also she's uh, just by her mood. And her devotion. Yeah, by her mood and devotion, she's done so much to improve the quality of our school this year, just by arranging the school in such a way that it's so nice for, for, for our children. Now she's also going to Los Angeles, and I hope the devotees there will appreciate her. I hope the devotees in Los Angeles will appreciate her there as much as we do here. We're giving a part of our heart to the L.A. Temple, so please take good care of it. <laughs> and now our children, these are Gurudev's little flowers. Some of them have some rough edges, but they're flowers nonetheless. <laughs> A couple of thorns maybe too. Some have flowers, some have rough edges, but still not flowers. But they're Gurudev's flowers, and my prayer every day is that I don't trample on his garden, so <laughs> please help me, Gurudev. <laughs> Our first one is Kishore, little Kishore. Stand up, Kishore. He is the daughter. Hey. Daughter of Anurag. Oh, God. Here we go again. Here the equipment needs some repair. You better take over here. This is the son of Anurada and the grandson of Champaklata and Pran Kishore. Hi, well, Kishore Babu. And what Kishore likes the best. What he likes the best about Gurudev is that he can defeat all the demons. And then there's Kanai Prabhu, son of Madhavi, and, uh, and Vidura, and uh, takes two, son of Madhavi and Vidura, and uh, grandson of Shamala and, and Tirtha Prada. And, uh, do you want to say your, your little verse? Go ahead. There's another mic over there. Pass it to me. Dabba O Vishnu Padaya Radhi Haya Priya Vade 
And what, what can I like best about Gurudev is that he can live both in the material world and the spiritual world at the same time. Wow. The next one may not stand up, but her name is Janavi. And she got the award for the sweetest person in the school this year. And she's actually quite an amazing student and a wonderful girl, and we're very happy to have her in our school. Janava Devi Ki Jai. She's a daughter also of Anurada and the grandchild of Champaklata and Prankisha. Go. Oh. Sweet. And another sweet student is Vishnu Priya, the daughter of our Nichimanjari. You got your verse, Vishnu? Want to say your verse? One should chant the holy name of the Lord in a humble state of mind, thinking oneself lower than the strong and the street. One should be more tolerant than a tree, devoid of all sense of false prestige, and one should be ready to offer all respects to others. In such a state of mind, one should chant the holy name of the Lord constantly. Our next one is Kavi Farna. He's the son of Kaliya Krishna and Kalindi, who are here somewhere. And he is such a gentle person, so sweet, but yet so strong at the same time. Everybody loves Kavi. So what's your verse, Kavi? <laughs> As our body so continuously passes in this body from boyhood to youth to old age, the soul similarly passes into another body at death. A sober person is not bewildered by something change. Very good. Very good. And then, Ram from England. Ram is, uh, is um, actually a wonderful boy. This year we've been working on improving his, his vocabulary, especially when he's angry. And, uh, and, uh, but he, he definitely responds to love and affection, and he's a very sweet and special boy. And he heard, uh, he heard Dhamma Maharaj's Bhagavad Saptaha in Los Angeles, and we had a little quiz when we came back, and we were thinking, you know, nobody heard, but he heard so much. And it helped having little soldiers in front of him that he was playing with. But he heard everything. <laughs> and he even corrects the teachers on Krishna book and Mahabharata. He knows it so much. Yeah. I'm praying from the core of my heart that with the torch light the of divine knowledge, you open my eyes, which will be by the darkness of the earth. Our next boy is our newest student, Vyasa Dave. And uh, he just joined us recently from Los Angeles. He likes to... Uh, he likes to chant, do service, and fight. Not necessarily in that order. But, but he, uh, he's really applying himself to the process. And uh, go see your verse. O son of Kunti, the non-permanent appearance of happiness and distress, and their disappearance in due course are like the appearance and disappearance of winter and summer seasons. They arise from sense perception. O sign of, of Bharata, and we must learn to tolerate them without being disturbed. Right. And then there's Jairi Gandelman, the son of Gorangi, from Malachua. Jairi is, uh, he sings like an angel. He's a budding Kirtaniya. He has unlimited energy. 
and he always finds a way to have stomach problems during academics. But, <laughs> but uh, he's really a good boy. Bat from push from belong to yam yamay bati prastiti tadham bati aparatam ashnami pratamana. If one offers me with love and devotion, a leaf, a flower, some fruit and water, I will accept it. Um, okay, our next one, I, I kind of, um, I'm going to need some help with any of the boys if I leave you out. Next one is Srivas. Oh no, is Jai Hari, is Haridas. Haridas, we're from England. Before I met Haridas, I used to think that cheeky meant having big cheeks. <laughs> But uh, now we're learning. There's another angle to it. But he's 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 got such a beautiful uh, taste for kirtan and for fighting. Okay. <laughs> Nikumakal Patero Kalitam, Fanam Sukumaka, Damita, Javasangitam, Pivot Tabak Patam, Masamale, and Mohoro, Rasikabu Vibavaka. O expert and thoughtful man, relish Shima Bhagavatam, the mature fruit of the, of the desire tree of the Vedas. It has emanated from the lips of Shri Sukade Kusami. Therefore, this fruit is becoming even more tasteful, even though its nectarian juice was already relishable for all, including liberated souls. Okay, our next one is Srivas, the son of Aniruddha Prabhu. And uh, you showed a Priya, Priya, is she here? Anyway. Uh, he's, uh, he's our student of the year this year because he's j just, just so wonderful, wonderful service attitude. He chants his rounds. There could be all kinds of joking going around, but he's very serious in getting his commitments to his Guru Dave taken care of. And he's even been known to smile every now and then. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Bhavad Vidha Bhagavatas Tirtha Bhutta Swayam Viva Tichi Karvanti Tirtani Swanta Stena Gadad Vrita My Lord, devotees like your good self are rarely holy places personified. Because you carry the Supreme Personality of Godhead within your heart, you turn all places into places of pilgrimage. <laughs> uh, our, I don't want to leave out Prima Vanya. I'm looking over here on this side. Premavanya is also the son of the. Oh God! It's also the daughter of Aniruddha and Kalindi. And uh, sorry, guys. Uh, and um, she's just full of fun and very sweet. And she's made a nice impression on all of us in this school. A great artist. Jamarani, take note. Tisham Satata Yuktanam Vajacham Priti Purvagam Dadami Bhuti Yogam Tam Yina Mam Upyanti Te. To those who are constantly devoted to serving me with love, I give the understanding by which they can come to me. Okay, okay now we have Janak Puru, who I gotta get this right, he's the son of Kaliya Krishna and Kalindi. David does. Janak is um, gentleman personified. Such nice qualities, such good manners, such a good boy, and uh, we're very fortunate to have him in our school. Shri Chaitanya Manobhishtam Siddhapitam Nenabhutale Swayam Rupa Katamayam Tatati Swapatantikam One will Sri Rupa Goswami give me shelter of his lotus feet because he understood the innermost heart's desire of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He was able to establish his mission in the world and is very dear to the Lord. Yeah. Our next devotee is Naratam Prabhu. Naratam is the son of Swati and Manmohan Prabhu, and he's very fun loving, very intelligent, and very honest. He's a good boy. <laughs> In the book Bhagavat and the person Bhagavat, the Lord awakens the mouths of Bhakti Rasa in the heart of the living being. And thus the Lord in the heart of his devotee comes into control of his devotee's love. Yeah, 
Okay, our next student is uh, Jai from Hawaii. We call him Jai from Hawaii, but his name is Jai Dave. But we have so many Jais every now and then that we have to distinguish. He's also the son of Ani Rudra Prabhu. He. I said he. He's also the son of Ani Rudra Prabhu and Yashoda Priya. And he's a, a gentle soul, really gentle soul. He never, never offends anyone, never fights, keeps to his business. And whatever he does, if he's allowed to do it in his own way, he does it so nicely. Akshno falam tvarisha darshanam hi, tano falam tvarisha gacha sangha, jiva falam tvarisha kirtanam hi, siru laba bhagavata hi loke. O Vaishnava, to see you is the perfection of the eyes, to touch your lotus feet is the perfection of the body, and to glorify you is the perfection of the tongue, for it is very rare to find a pure devotee within this world. Okay, uh, next we'll go to the lady's side and we'll do Gobi Govinda Snell. She's the daughter of Ananda Gopal Prabhu and Manju Vasa. Were you in the drama last night? No. Her sister was. Oh, let me tell you something about Gobi. I don't know how to describe her. She's so, she keeps everything inside, but she's so deep, so wise and so compassionate to the suffering of others. She's such a sweet person. O Bhagavan, your holy name alone can bestow all auspiciousness upon the living entities. Therefore, for the benefit of the jivas, you eternally manifest innumerable names, such as Krishna, Govinda, etc. You are so merciful that out of your causeless mercy, you have not even imposed any restrictions on the chanting and remembrance of the holy name. At any time of the day or night, the holy name can be chanted and remembered. Nonetheless, I am so unfortunate, due to committing offenses, that I have not awoken any attachment to your holy name. Yeah. And now, Janava Devidasi. Janava, everybody knows Janava, sings so beautifully. She's so s sweet, and she uh, likes to chew gum. No, she, <laughs> no she's really uh, just a blessing to have around. She's just a wonderful devotee, and she's full of fun, so intelligent, and she writes beautifully. She Daughter of Shamalal. And and son, no, and daughter also of Tirtha Prada. Nabasidur Nabamidam Bahusam Bhavante Manu Shamata Damanita Mapi Hadira Tunam Yate Tanapate Dunamitu Yavan Nishaya Saya Vishaya Kanisar Batasya this human birth is very rare because it is attained after many births. Even though it is temporary, it can give the highest truth. We cannot obtain the highest truth without Sadhu Sangha, which is difficult to obtain in any species other than the human form. An intelligent person should therefore endeavor to achieve the ultimate good fortune before death, without delaying for even a fraction of a moment. And what is the ultimate good fortune? The ultimate good fortune is the cultivation of Sri Krishna Bhakti. Our next student is Prem Pradipu. He's the son of Gopanandini and myself. And uh, if you want a son, it doesn't get much better than this. That's all I can say. He's such a, he's a from a neutral point of view. I, I am Tatashto, you know. Uh, okay. Goste Gostale Shu Sujane Busura Gane Samantra Shinam Ni Brajanava Yuba Dandva Sharane Sada Dambang Hitva Kuru Retim Mapurvam Matitara Mahi Swanta Bratash Chatubira Biache Rita Pada Oh my dear brother, my foolish mind, taking hold of your feet, I humbly pray to you with sweet words. Giving up all pride, please take shelter of the lotus feet of Sri Gurudev, Sri Brajadam, the residents of Raj, the Vaishnavas, the Brahmanas, your Diksha Mantras, 
in the holy names of the Lord and the shelter of Kishore Kishori, Radha Krishna, the supreme, eternally youthful, divine couple of Braj. Uh, before we continue, there's two people who aren't here that I want to mention. One is Keshava Prabhu, this is the son of Banki Bihari and Govinda Rupini. And he's made so much progress this year in his development of his heart and his desire to be with devotees. He's actually, uh, he, he's so good with the little children. He couldn't make it here today, but I just wanted to acknowledge him and, and uh, I'm glad he's with us. And thank you to his parents. Also. And the other one, who always manages to slip away, but our school wouldn't be the same without, is Nanda Kishore. He's... You all know him as red-headed Nanda, Nanda Kumar, Nanda Kishore, sorry. But, but uh, he does so much service. Whatever is needed, he just jumps in and done. He cooks, he, takes, he teaches, he works on computers, and he does everything with such a sweet mood. He cares so much for all the devotees, and he's just like so much a part of our life here. We love him very much. Nanda Kumar Ki He's doing service right now to two devotees who needed to get something printed. So just to help out, he left and he's uh, facilitating their, uh, their, um, their, their seva. So just to let you know, that's the kind of devotee he is. Uh, and I, uh, I wanted to acknowledge, I'll, I'll, I'll make the acknowledgments after I finish with the students because there's some devotees I have to acknowledge. Uh, the next student I want to mention is Gaur Pran. <clears throat> Gaur Pran has been with us for a long time now. He, he's very much uh, uh, attached to being trained in Guru Seva by Premananda Prabhu. He's been there on several occasions. And he's grown so much this year, both emotionally and spiritually. And uh, he, he's an amazing cook. The son of Radhavinodini and Bharata Prabhu and Vardanya Prabhu. Don't ask me about that one, please. But uh, it's not, we, we do unusual things in Badger here. So. Aho bata so patato gani an judge diva grivarta te namatubyam te pustapa du huvasasnaraya vimana tu namagrinanti te. Oh, how glorious is someone who chants the name of Sri Hari. Even born in a family of dog eaters, he is, superior, he is worshipable and superior to all. To be chanting the name of Sri Hari, he must have performed austerities, done fire sacrifices bathed in the holy places of pilgrimage, studied the Vedas, and achieved all good qualities of the, all good qualities of the Aryans. <laughs> and uh, last but not least is Madhukar. Son of Rishad Dev and this Chinchadi. And Madhukar Guru is probably one of the most determined people I've ever met. And he applies that determination to his desire to be with the Vaishnavas, to sing bhajans, to learn shlokas. When most uh, devotees, boys, like to play, he's chanting, reading the Shastra. He's self-motivated in his Krishna consciousness, and he's a wonderful boy. <laughs> Saji Suranandi Shura Pati Sutate Guru Varam Kunda Prishtate Smara Paramaja Shamanumana. Oh, my dear mind, please do not perform either Dharma or Adharma mentioned in the Shrutis. Rather, you should render profuse loving service unto Shishi Radha Krishna here in Raj. Always meditate on Saji Nandan Gora Hari as being non different from Shri Nandan and always remember Shri Guru Dev as being most dear to Shri Mukunda. And lastly, there's too many devotees to thank individually for all the help they've done in the school, but I want to mention three. One is um, Tamopa Hafabu, who, when hearing that this summer we're going to be traveling, we have received Srila Gurudev's blessings 
to travel all over the country, as he mentioned, to glorify the teachings of uh, Srila uh, Rupa Goswami in the line of Mahaprabhu. He's given us his blessings, and Tamo Prabhu came up with a van. And we're going to be taking boys and girls around. So if anybody wants us to come to their place and put on a little program, we're traveling all around the country, finishing up in the south, going north first. And I also want to uh, especially thank Sadananda Prabhu for his generous donations every month regularly to support our school. Sadananda Prabhu and the Gopals uh, help us. So. And, and lastly, once I was in the airport with Gurudev and I went up to him and I said, uh, Gurudev, I feel very fortunate to have this connection with you in service. And he looked at me and he said, you're right. <laughs> and and if, if it wasn't for Srila Gurudev, and if it wasn't for Srila Gurudev, those of you who know me, I'd be walking around the Port Authority in New York mumbling to myself. <laughs> so I, I, uh, I just want to express uh, in whatever way I can from the core of my heart to Srila Gurudev for creating this school, for sustaining it, for inspiring it, and for allowing me to be part of it and to be with these beautiful children and teachers. I pray that I don't trample his garden and that he'll allow me to grow in bhakti so I can become his instrument more and more. Srila Gurudev ki After the Kirtan, all the devotees who have come for Darsha, we would like that all of you could meet with Srila Gurudev privately, but it is very difficult to arrange that. So all of you, I know that there are many who have brought some present, and they would just like to offer that to Srila Gurudev and make their pranam, and just meet Gurudev briefly. We invite you to come forward. We'll open this area here. You can all come forward and pay your respects. Dandavat Pranam to Srila Gurudev. And if you have anything to offer, you can do that also. After the Kirtan. Hare Krishna. Um, we'll make an aisle here and an aisle like this so that they can... Keep on. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Thank <laughs> you.
very happy. Mahendra Prabhu, his wife, Gopanidhi, and also wife, Mishra Manjari, Pakrata, and all of them. I am very happy that the students are studying and also they are studying Krishna consciousness. Oh, in other schools, no Krishna consciousness, nothing. Only they are studying, eating fish, meat, eggs, everything. But here, oh, they, be, they are becoming very qualified boy with the study Krishna consciousness. They hear our classes, remember slopes as they are uttering, and their life is established. A sanskar is coming. Impression. Impression. And I think that in whole life they will be happy and devoted. So you should try to know Krishna Bhakti and thus study and try to know more and more missions that is our teaching and thus you should be happy in your life. I think that this school is very, very good other than Iskone also. I want that more children should come more and more and we can help them even poor devotee children, those who have no money, will have to arrange that the children also be here. And they should study here. I think so many devotees are helping. And they want to help more. They want to make a separate, his own land, and in that land, a school also. I think Tamopaha Prabhu is doing well. He is giving a God, big God, that oh, he can take children here and there. And already in LA. So, I want that we should all help, that in future, so many children from everywhere, they should come and they should study here. Go, Praman. Hare Krishna, one very brief announcement related to the school. Uh, last year, we did a little uh, fundraising and we talked about all the sacrifices that the teachers are making to train the students. And uh, Krishna Kanta Prabhu and his wife Yogamaya have, for the last couple of years, worked very hard in association with some famous musicians to make this wonderful book of devotional songs. All of the songs are sung by the Guru Kulis from here in uh, the New Brudge School. And it's uh, produced to a very high professional standard and has uh, the likes of Chrissy Hind singing on it and uh, other famous persons. So this book is now available to you uh, at the bookshop. And the proceeds of the book, the profits of the book, um, and, uh, and there's also 
a CD, which uh, I'll try to show you in the back. This is where you need four arms and not two. Okay. There you go. There's my third arm. Um, so the CD is uh, right in the back of the book, and the music is here. So you get a book and a really uh, very professionally produced CD. It's fantastic for gifts. It's great for Sankirtan. They're available for $15 retail, but the devotees can buy them, of course, at the devotee wholesale price for distributing all around the world. So uh, it has Gurudev's commentary on all of these devotional songs. We hope you like it, and we hope you buy one to help support the New Brud School. And of, uh, in addition to the New Brud School, uh, Gorasundar Prabhu, uh, a little donation from the sale of each book goes to help his parents um, support his uh, medical needs. Thank you. Hare right, Krishna, another quick announcement. Many of you have seen this calendar. Some of you have purchased it. Some others don't even have it yet. Uh, Srimati Shamarani wanted that every single person, whoever they were, could get an opportunity to have these beautiful windows to the spiritual world. All of her most important paintings are here, then directly under the direction of Srila Prabhupada and Srila Gurudev. So we're asking everyone to help the Navadvi Project. All proceeds from the sale of this calendar will go directly to the Navadvi Project. If you've already gotten one, Buy another one and give it to somebody as a gift. It's only ten dollars. So it's price to sell. You can get all of the paintings. You can frame them in your home when the calendar is done. It started in March. It goes from March to March, so it's only two months old. So please take advantage and get this calendar. It'll be at the table after the darshan. And another quick announcement, please, about uh, Isha Prabhu, who does all of the work for doing the videos, the DVDs, and the MP3s, make recording everything that Guru Dave says and does, and then provides it for free on the internet for all of us to download. And the reason he does this is because outside of America there are thousands of impoverished devotees, devotees like in Russia, who spend an entire year collecting enough money just to take the train from one end of Russia to the other to go to a program and have no money to even get back to their home just so they can go to the program, just so they can see Srila Gurudev. They're getting the opportunity to download the videos, download the lectures on their computers free of charge. We need to support this project. Everyone who will go over to the table today and make a little donation to help the free distribution of these uh, lectures and DVDs will get a little gift from Isha Das today. So everyone, please go over, make a little donation to help this project and make it keep working. Thank you very much. Anyone who wants a free newsletter from the school also, we have them. Mother Kalimba has done tremendous amount of work on the calendar. She deserves a lot of credit for all the work she's done. Oh, yeah. Srila Gurudev actually, Srila Gurudev wanted this calendar in, I believe it was the beginning of January, that Vishwambar got the order to do that. Vishwambar Prabhu, beginning of January? Yeah, January. And then in no time, uh, Kalinda Didi, Kalimba, Kanakamandyari, what is he? There. She did a marvelous job. It's a beautiful, it's the most beautiful commander that I've personally ever seen. Two hands, Isha Prabhu. So, you all know that Gurudev did his program in LA Temple. So, the next two or three months, that temple is going to either go under or it's going to be successful. So I'm requesting all those single persons who are not married, who have no responsibility, who have no seva, they can come and talk to Gopanandini at least give two or three months to that temple. Once it's running, then it'll be successful. But if people don't come and dedicate and serve, serve, that temple will go on. Thank you very much. So though, they can come and speak to Gopanandini, those who want to dedicate something. And all this book. Haribo. Now we request you make an alley here.
to make an alley here where Shamaran is it so that the devotees can easily pass and also here. If we can make a little pathway here so that the devotees who come forward can 